I think using academic vocabulary is important, no matter how young the student, to use the proper words right away. It helps them in their studies, whether it's math or science. And you can do that building off of some of their language knowledge, uh, things like prefixes and suffixes or root words and what those words mean. Okay, what is binary coding? You all saw this and you said, what are you hacking today? Nothing, but we are going to learn what those zeros and ones are, okay? Okay, so when we're talking about base two or binary numbers, who remembers what that prefix by means? Carter? Two. two. We can only use two different digits. We can only use zeros or ones. Now on base 10, we can use zero through nine, so a lot more combinations right there. Base two binary is just zeros and ones, okay? So the big part of vocabulary there, to pull out of all that other vocabulary important for us, bit, did, you, did anybody hold on to what they said a bit was from that video? Mm, nope, just one. A singular zero or one is a bit, okay? A singular zero or one is a bit, and then if you put eight of those together, it makes a byte. Okay, so that's what we're gonna look at in just a second. So for binary, you might say the prefix bi means two, and they can piece together that then you're working with two things, zeros and ones. What do you notice about each letter? How many numbers does it take to represent each letter? Phoebe? Eight. eight. And we said that eight bits made a byte. So every one of these letters is represented by eight numbers. To be successful in this, you definitely want to prep ahead. You want to do a lot of prep ahead to save time and less disaster. So you want to string up the necklaces before. You want to have beads possibly out separated by colors and a place for beads and the space for all of that work. Mm -hmm.